Hey everyone, in the news this week, there were horror scenes in Southport at a Taylor Swift dance party when it was revealed that the racially charged mass stabbing had also been set against the backdrop of a Taylor Swift soundtrack. The ethnic violence in the UK is quite something to watch, certainly if you go online and see the footage shot by people who were there, rather than the videos that the BBC have deemed okay to release. I once worked with someone obsessed with the EU who'd said that voting for Brexit was like a library being burned down by people that couldn't read, although it did finally happen in that race riot in Liverpool the other night, so hmm. It's also the Olympics, which is being hosted by France this year, which confusingly means you have the Paris Olympics followed by the Paralympics. Don't get the two confused. A neighbour mentioned something about the triathlon event being insane, but then I realised he meant in the Seine, but then it turned out he was talking about it being open sewer and utterly insane. There was also a controversial opening ceremony, although at least it fulfilled its remit of giving me a renewed sense of optimism, albeit it's an optimism in the belief that Putin brings about the downfall of liberal progressivism. Anyway, it all at least made a change from the Tokyo Games, which were during COVID with empty stadiums, which frankly made me nostalgic for low-level Scottish football games. There were allegations of drug use then too, made clear when the athletes walked in and waved to a non-existent crowd in an empty stadium. If those athletes were running fast, it was probably because they were chasing the dragon. On one of my WhatsApp groups, we've got a friend in our 40s who we recently decided to nickname the Olympic Flame because he never goes out, these days at least. Anyway, at the time of writing, Britain is fifth in the medal count, maybe more in it next week. And finally, Hugh Edwards was back in the news, at least he was on it rather than presenting it, after being charged for three incidents of making indecent images of children. People in Wales are quite often named after the thing they do, such as Jones the Post, or Davis the Food, or Edwards the Children, presumably. Anyway, I'm sure he can afford a good lawyer, given that he's been on paid leave for the last year and half a million quid. Let's see what happens when it goes to court. Although knowing the way that the BBC and the world works these days, I'd imagine if the police had caught him watching illegal videos of children on his television, they'd be more inclined to prosecute him for not having a TV licence. Anyway, see you next week. Flat these clicks, subscribe.